welcome to channel 48 we are here with my mido and i yeah i as well want to try to install android 30 on this device i just did a wipe data factory reset well at least i did the advanced wipe down the cat system data rebooted back into recovery a computer was connected uh, push the pixel 4 tiramisu uh, to the phone and now we're gonna install it and now i'm gonna make a very long story short um i tested uh, the pixel 4a i tested the pixel 4 and i tested uh yeah another uh, pixel build uh, android 13 gsi um, friends they all failed yeah uh, they did not boot uh, my medicines were not working so we will have to wait uh, until uh, a developer ports android 13 to the mido for now that is not the case okay so i can show you all the installings and the fail uh, the failings uh, of of trying to install android 13 but i'm not gonna do that what we're gonna do is i'm gonna show you uh, uh experience pixel experience uh, from uh, this month with the security patches from april by laninish so let's jump to that video because this is only a waste of time for now no luck with android 13 on the mido we will have to wait for ports Tja, then the only thing that we can do then is install the latest pixel experience plus with the april security patches and uh let me see that is by we have two editions we have the plus edition and the normal edition i went for the plus edition i don't know what it is i just wanted to see it and this is by nalinish okay uh, i think this is the first time that i show a room from nalinish he started uh his uh how you say that um he started with sharing these builds on his github you see so i think soon we're gonna get a new build next month i think this guy is serious so we have a nice room we as well have a lineage os by what is his name again we have elixir but elixir is old well i think this is the newest okay um we as we as well have a room from uh what do i see there we had a lineage os optimized as well by oh yeah I forgot but this was the newest the new, at least yeah the newest the newest android 12. there were some android 11 see a droid i saw i saw several but only one android 12 with the latest security patches okay maybe there is another build i don't know but i could not find that one I, I found this one and uh, i never showed the room from uh, narish ever before let me see if i'm pronouncing his name good nalin nalinish nish nalinish Nalinish. Almost there. So this is the plus edition. Don't know what that exactly um, is to say this way. 
compared to the Nut Plus edition. But we will find out. Okay, so let's reboot. I must as well finish the rums for the tap. The tap to 80 and to 85. I have many requests for that for that device. I might do it later today so the people can install it this weekend. Okay, we're booting up Android 12 as well. Very nice for this uh, for this phone. I think this phone ended on what was it? Android 7 or so. Like Xiaomi official. I think it's still getting security patches eh? from uh, Xiaomi. Xiaomi take good care, good care of their phones. At least I think, I'm not sure. But I know that we have a whole lot of development, well, a whole lot. We have some development going on for this phone. And there we go. As well, a beautiful pixel ROM, no error. We didn't, we didn't get a pop-up, pop something stopped. Nice. This is the first pixel ROM that I see that comes without that error. So that is very promising. feels nice, responsive, there is no delay in, well a little bit, but it's booting now, eh? there is no delay in the, in, in, in the touch, system navigation settings, let's go for gesture, in fact now nah, you can better go for uh, Three bottom navigation is better, I think. Because you're gonna get messed up with this one. This one is gonna annoy you. It's a little bit high, yeah? Huh? Yeah, you see that? It's gonna go down. No. Nice. What launcher is this? Home settings. Ah, this is the pixel launcher. Search your phone, allow home screen rotation. Let me put some extra light for you. So you can see it even better. Can you see it? Or is this too light? Maybe like this. It's better. Eh? So um, in fact the same room that we uh, found for the for the Samsung Galaxy S9. Um, nice uh, if you like Pixel. Uh, with gaps built in, lovely, uh, nice phone. Lovely, uh, good camera. Don't allow, amazing. This all works good. So, what do we have? I see some more apps. I see the Google search, uh, Google photos, safety, a nice recorder. Of course, your phone contacts and messages, Google Chrome, camera, uh, calculator, and an FM radio. Um, while using the app. Hello. Yeah, this one does not play without uh, without the antenna. So we need to connect a little uh, plug in here in the headphone, and then you should be able to receive radio, FM radio without internet. 
local stations. So uh, let's see what happens if we're gonna put it on uh, on system navigation. I mean, if we're gonna put it on uh, how did we call it? System navigation. Eh? Uh, where is it? I think it's gone. Guess just. Huh? Am I crazy or what? I must be confused. Oh my gosh, now I feel so stupid. We always have our guests just here. Where is the guest here? Menu. Nah, ja, belachelijk. <laughs> ja, stupid. Oké, okay, anyway, peeps. Um, we have a nice room here for the for the Redmi Note 4. It's Android 12 looks just like 13 you know and if there would be an android 12 it would look just like this only difference would be uh, that it would be saying here 13 but with a you know a prop editor you yourself can do that something nice uh, to do is uh, to go into settings and just uh, type tap and then you're gonna see tap to wake I already turned it on uh, and I'm gonna as well tap to sleep you see and then you can just tap like that and then it should go to sleep and to wake it up you tap two times and the screen will wake up okay so you must turn it on it's not uh, out of the box uh, in there all right for the rest um, yo, um, what can I show more yeah, it all works. Let's see if the Wi-Fi uh, connects. Uh, if there are no problems with the Wi-Fi. I don't think so. Okay, we are connected. It works uh, fine. All right. So, um, yeah, now it's just a matter of going to the Play Store and log in with your account and reset whatever you want to uh, restore to the phone. Okay. So that all seems to work as well. So that's it. Uh, I think for this room, I don't have to make this video yeah, any longer. Oh yeah, another interesting point to know is that you can uh, turn on your face uh, unlock. Uh, face unlock is working in here. Okay, uh, I just saw it here. Screen face and fingerprint unlock. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if it works, but I think it works, okay? I'm not in the mood now to go on cam, but uh, this is it, uh, peeps. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comment sections uh, if this is a good room. I think it is, okay? Uh, it feels very, very smooth and uh, yeah, it just feels very, very snappy, very snappy. And that for such an old phone, yeah, big up to Xiaomi, great hardware, great device. No real Android 13 uh, yet for this device. As you could see, uh, we tried and um, yeah, it did not uh, really work out. This is the best room, April security patches. What more do you want? You know, uh, for this device, this still very old device, you know, um, yeah, but it's still beating uh, many devices out there, you know, just by being so supportive in running uh, the higher builds of Android. I'm sure Android 13 will as well come to it. You know, it's just a matter of time. Uh, and then, you know, some developer will port uh, yeah, Android 13 to this device. So it's just a matter of waiting and having some patience. Okay, peeps. So that was it for the Mido. Uh, I don't think I have to make this video any longer. Uh, credits to Nalinesh 
for at least one good working version uh, for today that I could show. I'm talking about the Android 13s that we tried. They all failed, but at least we have something that comes very close. Yeah, because this is, uh, I think, 12.1. So it comes very close and uh, it looks nice. And it's created for this device. So it's a port and not some GSI that has a whole lot of bugs and errors in it, you know, and runs just to, yeah, let you enjoy 13 a little bit. But the real thing uh, you will be doing under this OS, you know, on the uh, ported OS for the device and not, yeah, sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes you can be lucky, just like with the S10, you know, everything works. Really, it's it's one amazing phone on Android 13. And so is, uh, so is the Redmi 7A. But yeah, not all these phones are so fortunate, you know. So that was it uh, for this uh, for this phone. Um, Android 13 is not working. Uh, too many fails. Uh, too many megabytes lost. And uh, yeah, this is what you can install for the weekend and see how it works uh, for the week to come. And then uh, I like to read some comments as well, uh, you know, from you, uh, how it all works on your device thank you for watching uh, please subscribe and then you'll see me in the next video again thank you